Welcome to Paradise TV, everybody. We're at Fisherman's Village in Punta Gorda. Yes, we are right here in Charlotte County, a beautiful place, one of yeah. my favorite places. There are tons of shops and restaurants right on the water. No wonder more than a million people every year come right here. That's why we wanted to bring you here. And thank you for spending Valentine's yes, Day my Eve lovely. with us. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get things started. In tonight's show, we take you on a ghostly tour through history, jam with some country superstars, cook up a tasty treat with a Disney twist, and prepare pizza with love. Every year about this time, the waters of Charlotte Harbor are filled with sails and skippers for the Charlotte Harbor Regatta. It's billed as the fun and affordable regatta. It's a weekend of sailboat racing, and this year, Paradise TV hit the waves. Sailing here is great. It's a huge expanse. I mean, look at the bay out there. And it's absolutely wonderful with all the wind we have this morning. Fantastic. Uh, it's a nice body of water. Um, you get some really nice waves. Back in 2009, some sailors on Charlotte Harbor felt the wind, the water, and the need to spread the word to the world about great sailing on their personal playground. These are racers who travel around the country to race, and when they get to a venue like this where it's blowing, you know, 12, 15 miles an hour and the sun's shining, they're loving it. Loving it so much that 95 boats are here this year making it the biggest regatta ever held on Charlotte Harbor. This is a really fun regatta. Um, I've done it for the last couple years, and there's a lot of people that come from multiple different locations. The guy I'm sailing with is from California, and there's multiple boats here from New York area, as well as local, so it's quite a camaraderie down here. All these sailors and all these boats sharing one common goal. Go faster than everybody else. <laughs> and one common feeling. It's freedom. Freedom and speed, and it's a good way to get away from it all. It's just you and the wind and the waves. Uh, it's about you and harnessing it and making the boat go uh, where you want it to go. And the key with steering these Hobie Cat sailboats is the trapeze. The purpose of the trapeze is to use your body weight to balance out the boat. So you want to keep the boat most of the time you want to keep the boat as flat as possible to go faster. When you get out on the trapeze, it feels like you're flying through the air. And it's a fine line between flying and swimming. You may be the best sailor on the course, but if you make one mistake, you could be in the water. But the ride and the risk are worth it. There's really no comparison. Have you ever been skydiving? No. OK, well, skydiving is like complete Freedom is just you and the air moving through your through your um, hair, and that's what it's like out on the water. It's very peaceful. Well, speaking of races, yeah, there is a legendary tradition out at the Tween Waters Inn out on Captiva. Takes a little bit of courage and well, some crabs. <laughs> The one-of-a-kind Nast Crab Crab Races have been drawing crowds for nearly 25 years. The traditional blowing of the conch shell gets things started at Crow's Nest, and it's on your mark, get set, go for these crab racers. Started in 1984, the crab races are lovingly advertised as the stupidest thing you've ever seen. But apparently, there are a few tricks to taking home the gold. The key is having a good name for your crab, also having a good cheer for your crab. And of course, putting your official crab racing shirt on, your crab may recognize you and may run right to you. The crab race entry fee is donated to the United Way, and last year they raised more than $17,000 for the charity. Each February, 3rd Street South in Naples comes alive with art. Artists create pictures of the downtown district. They call this third on canvas. The birthplace of Naples with its original cottages, the pier, Creighton Cove, the city docks, and 3rd Street South with its shops and restaurants, all that provides the perfect inspiration for artists. More than 40 artists participate in the two-day paint-a-thon, and then the works are all auctioned off for charity. It's kind of our corner of Naples, and we're blessed with a very picturesque corner, and 
it's, it's fun to see it through the eyes of these painters. For more on this or anything you've seen on Paradise TV, just head to our website, fox4now.com forward slash paradise. So Carly, I hear that you're a little bit country, a little bit of a country music fan. I am. And Paradise TV got a backstage pass for the Country Jam at nice. the Collier County Fairgrounds. We got a chance to talk with one of the hottest bands around. My name is Matt Thomas, uh, vocalist, guitar. Josh McSwain, guitar, keyboards. Uh, Scott Thomas on drums. And Barry Knox on bass. And we are Parmalee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Country Jam at the Collier County Fairgrounds. I just love the atmosphere of the crowds here at the fairs, and it's just fun. Something fun to do. Beautiful, beautiful place. I love this weather. Palm trees and, and sunshine. Can't beat it. It's a beautiful day out. I wish I was on my Harley, though. Parmalee, a hot young band out of North Carolina, filled the evening air with high energy sound, along with several other bands, including past American Idol finalist Casey James. Casey James is cool. He's very laid back country. I love him. It's all I ever listen to is country. It's the best music. It's the way of life. Parmalee has been lucky enough to see a little more of Southwest Florida than just the stage. We got, we got to see the alligators on the alligators on the way down here. We got to see those. Now they know where the nickname Alligator Alley comes from. I counted five. Yeah, Josh. I wouldn't want to run out of gas on that stretch. <laughs> <laughs> and they had another surprise distraction on the drive across Florida. No, we're, we're releasing a single Tuesday called Carolina, and we just heard it on the way up here, which was the first time we've heard it on the FM airwaves ever, which was yeah. probably the coolest thing. We missed our stop. We missed a turn because Carolina came on the radio, and we cranked it up. By the way, Casey James, who was an American oh, yeah. Idol contestant, oh, yeah. he grew up in a little town in Texas called Cool. Is that where he got his first cool? <laughs> Probably. All right, coming up a little bit later right here on Paradise TV. We gather our courage for a ghost tour through time. And next, it's flavor with some flourish as I make dinner Disney style.